Hey, what is going on you guys? Today I thought I'd walk you through how to actually clean the lining of your helmet. Here I have my AGV K5S, so it has the sun visor in it, and I've got the tinted visor and stuff on it now. Now what I normally do is I actually remove the visor, just so it prevents it getting damaged, and you can also clean this in the process while you're actually cleaning out your helmet lining. Now every helmet is different, they all have their own ways of getting out. Some have removable neck rolls, others don't. Some have chin curtains, others don't. But if you have an AGV K5, you're going to be laughing because I'm going to show you exactly how to get your one apart. So first what you want to do is you want to just get in inside here. So inside where the cheek is and you unclip that. Unvelcro it, and that just pulls out like so. Do that to both sides. If you have any centers or intercoms or GoPros or anything along those lines, just uh, just be wary of them. You can remove them if you wish. I'm just going to leave them on for this purpose. Now you want to work on getting the neck roll out. The neck roll in the AGV K5s. They lift up like so, and you just unclip all the tabs. There's a row of tabs that run around the inside. Now, if your helmet does not have a removable neck roll, like if you cannot budget, don't remove it. It may even pay to actually look up if your helmet can have a removable, if your helmet can actually have the neck roll removed, because you don't want to damage your helmet. And you just go around little by little just pulling it out it is a bit tight especially around where my center unit is now in the back here you have maybe a couple of clips that are holding on there's two here that are actually still clinging on and here's your neck roll as you can see this is pretty filthy pretty dirty it's got a lot of sweat and yucky stuff in there so I'll set that aside. As you can see here, I've got all, all my wiring and everything running through the helmet for my motor vlogging setup. If you guys actually want to know how to do a motor vlogging helmet, I can tell you, but there is plenty of videos on YouTube about that. Next is the chin curtain. Now this thing can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. It's got some hooks in, in the chin part and you just gotta maneuver them around until they unclip. and you get your chin curtain. Same thing, this thing gets really, really dirty and grubby. Now you gotta get into the top here. This top part, there's a couple of clips in the back. Just unclip those. And there is, I don't know, I'm trying to get a good angle on it for you. For you guys. Up in the top on the brow here, there's a couple of Velcros and a clip. A couple of clips actually and pull this part of the lining out and that's a helmet that's been completely stripped out and gutted this does not damage your helmet anyway guys like this actually can be done you can remove your helmet lining unless your manufacturer says that no you can't so it pays to check what helmet you have before you actually go to do this. But most helmets, you can remove the helmet lining. It is a part that you can actually remove. So let's move on to the next part of the cleaning phase. So now we're into the next part and maybe a little bit echoey because I'm actually in my bathroom, but you wanna grab all your insides of your helmet and even your visor, paste actually wash that as well. And you want some Johnson's Bedtime Baby Bath, or any sort of baby wash. Uh, there's something, I can't remember what it is, but there's something in this that's different from different shampoos. And it's not as harsh, because you can actually damage the foam and everything inside your helmet. So, I use this. I've been using it for a long time and actually haven't had an issue. I can't remember what it is in the soap that, that actually mucks around with these the foam and stuff. I've even got a towel as well, which actually, I just sit that to the side to put all the parts of the helmet on after I've finished washing it. 
Just grab the plug, put a plug in the sink, put warm water in there. You don't want it like super hot. I'm actually just gonna let that run for a bit so the water gets warm. You want warm water in there. You don't want it like super hot, just lukewarm sort of water. You just wanna get a bit of the baby wash and actually just squirt that into the water. Soap it up a little bit. And you can actually put some on the lining of your helmet as well. Just fill up your sink until you feel there's enough water in there. There's no real technical thing to it. And plus this stuff smells good too. So when your helmet's all washed, it actually smells nice. It doesn't burn your eyes. And you just grab, I've grabbed the neck roll here and you just put it in the water and massage it. Just massage it, run your hands over it, try and get all the, like all the sweat and grease and everything off your face. Dirt, if you're a dirt bike rider, all that sort of stuff. You can grab some more soap, if there's not enough soap, add more soap to it. And I just spend however long it takes, honestly, however long it takes to just really give it a good scrub up. That's all I do, try and get the most dirt and everything out of the cheek pads. Try and get the most dirt out of all the lining. And as you can tell by the colour of the water, it's it's changed. <laughs> How often should you clean your helmet? It really depends on what you're doing. Like I normally do it mid-season because because I ride all, all year round. I ride in winter and summer. I normally do it once in winter, normally. So at the end of a riding season. And then I may do it once in summer, depending on what's going on. If the helmet's like really dirty and just really disgusting, I'll wash it again. It's also a good time to sit there and inspect the lining of your helmet. If there's any splits, if there's any tears, uh, if the foam's deteriorated, if you might need a new helmet or do you need to order a new part, paste to check all that sort of stuff. And now look at that water. And that's just with the neck roll, just on how much dirt and gunk comes out of these helmets. And when it comes to cleaning the visor, it's pretty simple. I literally just use some of the water in here, or you can use clean water and just wipe it over. You can use a little bit of detergent on it, or you can just run it under normal clean water. As you can tell, that water there is pretty dirty. So, what you do next, is you take the plug out, you want to rinse all the lining. So you just run them under the water, try and get as much soap and stuff out of them as you can. And you just go through and do this with each individual piece again. Normally when I'm doing this part, I check if there's any more dirt and stuff coming out of the helmet lining. As I'm doing this last rinse off, I try and get as much water as possible out of them. Just squeeze them, get as much water as possible out of the lining. So the next part I do is normally let these sit in front of a heater on a towel just to dry. The lining I leave upside down like so. I let it sit there and air dry for as long as it takes. If the lining takes two days, if it takes an hour, however long it takes because you don't want to actually put it back in your helmet if it's still moist because you can get mold and all sorts of things. So I just let it sit there. I normally turn this inside out, the crown piece. Let me turn it inside out, let that sit there. As for the visor, I normally grab a microfiber cloth and just wipe that over, which I'm probably gonna have to redo that because it doesn't look the best in my eyes. Oh no, it's actually not too bad. So this is it all complete, guys. The lining's all back in the helmet. I've got my GoPro on the front and I've actually been mucking around a little bit with that as well. I played around with the microphone. I actually did a microphone exchange so this one does still work it's just it was starting to get a little bit crackly here and there so i thought i'll pull that one out while i'm doing this and i've run that round and and put that on the side still yet to try it out to see what it's actually like i don't know if that's going to rattle too much on the side i have had setups like this in the past and it hasn't been an issue and water isn't too much of an issue in getting into them either as you can see here well you can't really see too much because the light's not really going in there, but neck rolls all in. It's all nice and clean and it smells fantastic in there now. The visor is all clean. The only thing, that's a bit of dust on it. The only thing I do have to clean is actually the exterior of the helmet, which when it comes to that, you literally just wipe it over with a towel, a, a moist towel, just wipe that over, give it a good clean. There's a bit of road grime and stuff on the actually on the top of it there, as you can see. 
few bug spiders and everything. Alright guys, if you liked the video give it a huge thumbs up, go ham on it. If you have any questions feel free to shoot it down in the comment section, I'm more than happy to try and help you guys out. And uh, as always guys, don't forget to join the ride, subscribe, and until next time guys, peace.